Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Vilma. Today's video is going to be on how I try my utmost best to slow down the aging process. Now, if this is your first time here, my name is Vilma. I'm 44 years old and I do fashion related videos with lifestyle content and beauty as the one that I'm going to be doing today. Now, very recently I've been asked the question if I've ever considered Botox, being that I am 44. And yes, I have looked into it, but it's never really been something that I 100% considered having at this present moment. I'm not saying that in the future, I would not consider having Botox, but right now I feel like my skin doesn't need it. And I also feel like there's a lot of innovative skincare out there that can make your skin look its best at whatever stage that you're in. Of course, this is very, very personal. I have two friends in my circle that one, she's 20 years younger than me and she takes injections. And the other one is the same age as me and she also takes injections. I don't think it's Botox. I think they're fillers that they're taking. But, you know, it really depends on how you personally feel at whatever stage that you're in. If you feel like you need to take injections to make your skin look a little bit better, everybody deserves to be beautiful. So I have no problems with that whatsoever. But when I think about myself, I always think that a good serum, a good face mask will do the trick. So as I am doing my personal research of the next best thing, I was actually contacted by a company called Oya, who specializes on medical grade silicone patches to prevent and to target wrinkles. I was super happy with this because as you guys well know, I journal everything that I want to achieve in the future and I write down as if I already have it. So when they contacted me, I was like, wow, I was actually writing down things about my fitness, my skin, my hair, all of those things. So I was super happy to partner with them on this video. So Oya was kind enough to send me so many goodies as you guys can see right here. And all the information for these will be listed in the info bar below. They currently have a promotion going on on their website. So you'll probably get all of these half price or up to half price, which I think it's great. I find that my biggest concern is my smile lines. My smile lines are really, really predominant, especially now that I've lost a little bit of weight. I feel like I lost a little bit of elasticity, but I find that this one is very predominant. I wish that my skin looked like this, but it doesn't. And when it comes to the rest of my face, I'm not very worried about crow's feet or anything like that because I find that my skin here is pretty smooth. Of course, when I smile, you can see the lines. On my forehead, I do have a couple of fine lines. I'm always very expressive and I have a small one up here and one on the bottom. So the set that I'm going to be using today is the largest one and this one is the anti-wrinkle for forehead, eyes, smile, neck and chest. And this is the one that I'm mostly excited to try because it covers more places within my skin. So on the back of each set, you will find pictures of how to use the patches. There's a description at the top. These are medical grade silicone patches and they're pretty safe to be used by most people. But if you are aware that you have an allergy towards silicones, then maybe these ones will not work for you. So make sure that you read all the ingredients, how these products are made to make sure that they're safe to be used by you. So as you can see, I've not used these ones at all. They're completely closed and I'm going to open it now on camera. So inside each patch or the one that I'm actually going to be using today, it comes with a leaflet, it comes with all the patches and it also comes with these plastic that you can stick the patches here whilst they dry or when you want to put them back in storage. Now the recommended way to use these patches is with well cleansed skin and you need to pat it dry. If there's a little bit of moisture on your skin, these are not going to adhere. So you need to make sure that your skin is completely dry. How these patches work, they're supposed to lock in moisture, like really draw in moisture to the surface of the skin along with blood cells. That kind of gives a rejuvenated feel on the skin. They're supposed to leave your skin looking smoother and softer 
and supple as well so they're supposed to plump your skin and who doesn't want that I absolutely love when I look at my daughter and her skin is so nice and plump and smooth and I'm like Ugh, I want to have the skin that my daughter has of course I am <laughs> over 30 years older but I'm hoping that these patches will do that for me so as you can see I've applied all of my patches and applying them was actually pretty easy given that I'm only using my viewfinder and my eyes are terrible so trying to apply these ones over here I just had to lift them a couple of times because I think I was putting them a little bit too high they feel really good on the skin I actually find the one on the chest feels very very cooling um, the effect was super cooling um, it's not tugging my skin whatsoever and the one on my forehead I barely feel it so what I'm going to do is just leave them on for at least five to six hours come back and show you my results okay guys so I'm back and it's been almost six hours since I originally applied my patches and I'm super excited to see my results with you guys on camera but before I do that I just want to share my experience wearing these during the day now during the day we do our day-to-day -day things we talk on the phone we talk to other people um, in your household or outside and you also eat although the patches are not uncomfortable at all you feel them on the skin but they're not uncomfortable i personally feel that they would work best worn at night because at night you're relaxed um you're just you know you're sleeping you're not talking you're not eating so you're not going to continuously try and touch your face to see if they're there the only patch out of all of them that I struggled a little bit with was the one on my neck. I feel like the one on my neck keeps coming off on the sides and I don't think it's to do with the adhesive. I actually think it's to do with the fact that when I originally applied it, I felt like it wasn't applied correctly. So I removed it and put it back on, but you need to actually rinse it with water let it air dry and then apply it back on your skin and because i did it directly i felt like the adhesive on the sides was compromised because of that i also feel like maybe there's a lot of moisture i do heat up quite quickly and i feel like possibly there is a little bit too much moisture there and then the adhesive starts failing on my particular skin but overall the other ones didn't move at all um and i'm actually surprised because like i said talking day-to-day -day things and eating so now I am going to remove them and we're going to look at the results so we're going to start with the one on the neck because I'm really excited to see if there's a difference okay so I'm going to leave it there my skin on here I still feel the lines but they look slightly smoother slightly ever so slightly I can see a little bit of a difference there so now I'm going to remove these ones and I want to remove both of them to actually see okay I can definitely see a smoothing effect on this side this one remember it was the most predominant one out of the two and I can see a little bit of a difference there definitely this one I can also see it here but I can see it more on this side so if you guys remember on my eyes I don't have a lot of concerns but we're still going to check my skin feels really smooth though like I feel like there's hydration just on my skin that's that's what I feel like at the moment remove this one my skin feels really smooth there's no wetness whatsoever on my skin like as in sweat or oil production there's nothing but my skin feels very smooth still have my curls feet but it doesn't I don't know it feels a little bit smoother I like that so now on the forehead which is <laughs> one of my main concerned areas let's just remove this and see 
let me just tell you that it's very satisfying having to remove these things off of my face okay coming a little bit closer again my skin feels very smooth see I can still have my expressions but the lines are not as visible as they normally are so that is pretty awesome so now we're going to remove the one on the chest area and remember again I didn't have a lot of concerns on here but oh it feels very nice removing these things because I actually felt warm with this one now on this one over here I feel a little bit of moisture as in tackiness maybe because I was overheating as I mentioned to you guys before but my skin looks smoother I don't know what you guys think I didn't really have wrinkles over here or fine lines but maybe on camera there is a difference that I'm not personally seeing then again my eyes are really bad guys I wear glasses and I'm possibly not noticing everything that I need to but the skin feels really really nice over here so overall I'm super impressed with the end results of course I wasn't expecting my skin to look like this we have to be realistic but the immediate end results were actually really promising and I feel like if I continue to wear this to use this especially at night it will probably give me 10 times a better result so this is the end of the video I do hope that you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments below if you've tried any products similar to this or if you've tried Oya before make sure to check all the links that I'll have available for you guys and take advantage of their promotions on their website Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on my next video. Bye.